Uh, I, I believe I'm the last person in Australia to have looked down the barrel of a loaded gun held by Chopper Reed and lived to tell the tale. My name's Mark Dixon. Some people know me as the Hammer. Up until the age of uh, about 43, I was a full-time bouncer and a bodyguard. And uh, I tell you what, I've had one hell of a life. I was doing security at a pub one night and uh, on the south side of Brisbane. And Choppo had just started doing these shows around the, the country. This is 20 years ago. Anyway, at the end of the night, uh, I was walking Chopper out, this bloke, who we turfed out, jumped out of the bushes and uh, he was a tradesman of some sort and uh, he had a bloody a 20 ounce claw hammer in his hand and he was going to try and make a name for himself and hit Chopper with it. Anyway, I got between them and uh, the bloke has had a go at me with the hammer and, and lifted it up like this and come down and he was aiming at my head but he got me in the chest. As he was going for the next shot, which I knew would be at the head. I grabbed the leg of his jeans and I ripped him off his feet. And then I just sat on his chest and bashed the fucking hell out of him. I must have hit him 50 times. And uh, anyway, he was unconscious for about three hours. And uh, that's how I got the nickname Hammer. Being a bodyguard for Chopper, a lot of people would probably think that it was uh, all uh, danger and death and uh, running around with guns which is uh, a far way from the truth, I can tell you. Very, very few people ever wanted to have a go at Chopper in a, in a show or a crowd around the place. They more wanted these autographs, so I didn't have to do a lot of hard work. There'd be some of these pubs, they'd be pretty tough country pubs, uh, a lot of different types of people in there. And, uh, and he'd say, who'd want to fight me bodyguard for 500? 2007 or 8 around there in North Queensland. Chopper decides to tell me he's not paying for my plane tickets anymore um, because he's got to pay for this other bloke who's just carting a few things around for him. I won't say what they were, but it doesn't take too much to work it out. And halfway out in the bush, I said, pull down one of these dirt roads on the side of the road. I got out the car, pulled up, I got around the back and we had a heap of memorabilia in the car. And I got a tomahawk in this hand and a machete in this hand. So I said, oh, you know, I'm going to fucking kill you because, you know, you're fucking me around here with these plane tickets and everything and giving it to this dopey prick. Two nights later, we're back in Brisbane. The other bloke's on the plane back to Melbourne, but me and Chopper are going out to visit a bloke out at Applethorpe, which is uh, near Stanthorpe in Queensland. And this bloke is a very, very serious criminal. And uh, we get to his place, which is a 300-acre property. We go in there and the... the this old crim, I won't say his name, uh, is waiting for us uh, there in the shed and he gives Chopper a pair of white gloves, cotton gloves, put on his hands. Now I'm wondering what's going on. Anyway, next minute, hands him a 32 Beretta. Then he turns around at me and points it directly at me like that. And he said, if you ever fucking threaten me again, like you did the other day, I'll fucking bury you out here and no one will ever see you again. And then, at the last second, he turns the gun about that far, just off the side of my head, and went bang. One hit, and it ended up hitting a tree outside. What I do these days is a lot different to what I used to do. I pick up wrecked trucks for a living um, with, with big trucks and bring them into a wrecking yard. It's, yeah, it's a lot different to what I'm used to, but it's a normal uh, sort of eight to four job and uh, I get to sit down and have the luxury of watching the six o'clock news at night. Um, but uh, these days, yeah, I'm a humble family man, um, truck driver and uh, run a boxing club. I'm glad to say that I will never ever stand on the door of a pub or bodyguard ever again. But I do dabble in debt collecting still. So, which is, I don't know, it goes hand in hand with the territory. But uh, basically, that's what I am. I'm a, I'm a truck driver that picks up other trucks, and uh, it's not too bad.